bloody mucky this morning. Morning guys, all right? How are we doing? Very, very mucky this morning. <laughs> I'm up near the airport today. We might see some planes in a minute. Oh, God, it's wet. Oh, oh, jeez. I can see why there's not many up here this morning. <laughs> it, it, oh, gee, ways, man. This is just not a very goable way here, is it? A bit mucky. Yes, yeah, up by the airport. Hurrah! They've, um, due to climate change, they've um, turned down the uh, airport expansion. Um, I expect you've heard about that on the news, but uh, that was for Heathrow, I believe. But they've done it here in um, near Bristol as well. I don't like the thought of it, but I imagine that if they were going to expand the airport further, they probably, possibly, I don't know, because I don't know what the plans were, but um, I expect we would have lost this beautiful common here, because I would imagine they probably would have extended the another runway and built on all this, which um, I think the capitalists can go, can go and do one, because we don't want it. We'd rather have this, thank you very much. Listen to all the little birds, it's beautiful. Blinking lovely. And that's what we want to keep. We want to keep a bit of nature. We don't want your capitalistic rubbish everywhere. Thank you very much. We we'll keep what we've got, because this is nice. <laughs> Hear a plane taking off, so you might see one in a minute. Ah, yes, um, I was going to do an update for you guys on the uh, COVID-19. Um, I don't know if any of you guys saw the news this morning. It is, what day is it today? It's Tuesday today. And uh, they're getting more and more cases every day. So basically it's... Um, it's becoming more widespread with a lot more cases here in the UK so uh, I think the trick is really to try and self-isolate to not get it in the first place well that's going to be my aim <coughs> um, as you know by the vlogs I've not long got over a chest infection um, where had a bit of I had a stinky cold got down on my chest over Christmas and um, I do not, I definitely, definitely do not want something worse than I had before and I'm still just getting rid of this one. <laughs> I would say I'm 99% over it now but I still <coughs> get a bit of coffee every now and again. So um, I definitely don't want more complications, thank you very much. Definitely not. So, my aim is just to get away and stay away from people. And uh, wash your hands regularly. Keep your hands away from your face. If you go to any public places, I mean, I most of where I go, I'm at home, so it's my space. Um, I'm in my car, which I'm only the one in it, or my boy, or whatever. But I think the trick is to just keep yourself in regular places. And any places that you go are, that are not your regular places, is to make sure you always wash your hands. I mean, when we do subconscious things by putting our hands to our faces, you need to be consciously thinking what you're doing. Keep your hands away from your face as much as possible. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, um, there's a, it's only it's only a one percent um, death rate of COVID-19. So um, I think it I think it's probably looking at it, it's probably less than flu. Um, we get more deaths through flu than we probably would from this virus so let's just put it in perspective shall we 
you know maybe the uh, maybe we could say conspiracy and say that it was a um a modified weapon from the chinese or whatever but whatever it is it's let's just not blow it out of proportion you know it is um it is a virus and um at some point in our lives we're probably very likely to catch it because uh, if it's going to go around isn't it so we're going to get it at some point whether we want it or not i mean we might even get it in 10 years time you know you might not even get it today it might die out and then it might come back again who knows you know but um i think the trick is just to reduce the fact you know keep away from public places keep away from lots of people um obviously ellie this way pop oh, go this way actually. let's go this way Yes, um, oh God. gone in pop. Um, yes, yeah, stay away from public places. Stay away from public events. Um, I mean, the thing is, there is an incubation period for the, uh, for the virus itself. I mean, you're probably not even going to notice any significant symptoms for about a week. Um, so you're going to be carrying, you're going to be spreading it around. If you've contracted it from somebody and you're going to be spreading it around for the week, you know, you're going to be feeling a little bit under the weather. And you'll be thinking, oh, I've got bloody cold. And you've been walking around for a week, spreading it around to everybody. So um, just self-isolate. Do what it says, self-isolate. Keep away from people. Because if it, the more people do that, the quicker it will wipe itself out. I mean, if it's only gonna last 14 days, if you're going to have it for a week, have the worst symptoms for a few days, and then it works its way out. Um, obviously, if you're, uh, obviously if you've got more health problems, then you're more likely to may need hospitalization or whatever or you might need some sort of medical help just to sort of help you over the worst of it you know but um that's obviously not going to be every case but it's um just be prepared and stay ready you know um get enough don't overbuy things um I'm, I'm not a prepper but i i do sort of sort of prepare um, I mean we've just got a lot of extra tins in at the moment which is a good thing because if we have to stay at home for for two weeks because one because if one of us in our house has to isolate because they're not feeling very well because they may have something then um, obviously then uh, we're all going to have to stay at home you know they're saying to self-isolate if you feel unwell but that would be everybody in that family not just that one person because everybody if if that person was infected then the whole family would be infected so the whole family needs to self-isolate which means you'd need enough provisions to keep you going for uh for the 14 days you know um Obviously, I guess you could have Tesco's deliveries and stuff like that. I mean, we do, so. But as to whether Tesco's will want to deliver if pe to people who are self-isolating, who are in isolation, who are infected, I'd be, I don't think I'd like to be a Tesco's driver. I think I'd be putting myself at risk. <laughs> but maybe they'll have to pay the Tesco drivers a little bit more money because they do take liberties, I think, from speaking to some of the Tesco drivers. <laughs> so good on you if you're a Tesco's delivery man or woman. Fair play to you. <laughs> right, it's muddy. Yeah, so um yeah, that's about it for this one really. Um but um yes the numbers are supposedly dropping in um in China. They've reported that it's steadying off so over the last um month or two um they've managed to isolate uh was it seven and a half million people or 14 million people been isolated in china which um 
it's pretty amazing really and they've managed to should we go this way come on let's go this way they've managed to stop it getting worse so technically it could have been a lot worse people have been wearing their face masks and staying off the street and stop communicating with each other and just like use a bit of common sense you know so even though the government have been um condemned for doing what they've done and uh, i guess what they have done has probably worked so you know you've you've got to say well well done at the end of the day really haven't you you know sorry if it's a bit windy it's a bit windy up here so sorry if there's any wind noise anyway um yeah stay safe guys wish everybody luck hope everybody's okay um if anybody is feeling unwell um hope you're feeling okay Again, go, uh, I think it's do what they said on the BBC, which was 111 um, website or something that gives you all the information you need. So um, hopefully that'll work. Right, love and light, guys. Have a great rest of the day. Ooh, a bit fuzzy. And uh, see you in the next one. Managed to stand muddy up here. Look, look.